Okay, let's go ahead and talk about percent error. Now I've gone ahead and I've took a screenshot of your star chart. Again, you can find this on your chart, star chart under other formulas. And you can see that we have our percent error equation right here. Now normally what you'll see is you'll see a problem and it'll read something like um, in the lab we measured the density, we'll say this is density, grams per milliliter, um, of an unknown object and we got 1.065 and the correct value would be 1.000 okay now one thing you gotta realize is that it might not say experimental it might not say ex ex accepted okay but what you gotta understand experimental measured calculated in the lab those are all going to be this value right here Okay. Now, the accepted, other words for accepted are going to be the correct value, the actual value. They sometimes say accepted, but basically what you get is the experimental is found in the lab, and the accepted value is something that we would find in a book. Okay. So in plugging this in, if we have our percent error, okay, it equals our accepted value, which in this case is 1.000, uh, minus our experimental value, which is 1.065. Okay, and our units would go there, it's grams per milliliter, it's the density. Okay, divided by our accepted value, which is 1.000. Okay, and what you'll see is we normally take the absolute value of this. It doesn't have it in this equation right here, but usually take your absolute value of it and then multiply it by 100. Now one thing you gotta make sure that you do is that when you're plugging it into the calculator, you want to make sure that you subtract before you divide. So we would put 1.00 minus 1.065 and then we divide that by 1.00 and then we would multiply it by 100. And when we take the absolute value of it we just want to have a positive number. So we would get negative 0.65 but just take the positive value of that, the magnitude of it, which is 6.5 and that would be our percent error.